Today on In Your Face Anatomy, we are looking at all of the structures on the front of the skull. Uh, uh, uh. Let's get into it. Mm. All right, next up, we've got the front of the skull. All of their features. So I took the cap off and I'm just going to set my skull on top of it here so we can see everything. I don't need the top for this. All right, the front of the skull. So the first thing we've got is the perpendicular plate. So the perpendicular plate is also part of the ethmoid bone. Remember, we, we had the crystagalli on the inside of the skull where it pokes up. Let me turn it back around so we can re refresh that. There's my crystagalli of my ethmoid bone poking up. It continues down and it becomes the perpendicular plate, which runs right down the middle of our nose. So this ridge of bone here going down the middle of my nose, this is my perpendicular plate, and it's also part of the ethmoid bone. Then I've got my nasal concha. I've got middle and inferior nasal concha on my list. There are also superior nasal concha, but we can't see them on this model. They're too high up, embedded in the bone. So the concha are these little shelf-like projections on the inside of my nose. So the bottom one here is going to be my inferior nasal concha. And then the one above that is going to be my middle nasal concha. And then my superior nasal concha is on up here. We just can't see it. So inferior nasal concha on each side, middle nasal concha on each side as well. And then my perpendicular plate of the ethmoid bone going right down the middle. All right, where are we on my list here? The optic canal. So the optic canal, of course, it's going to be in the eye. Optic tells us it's going to be in the eye. In the very back side of our eye. So if, we look, if we're looking at our skull straight on and we go and give it the little cockeye look through it, at the very back of our skull, we have this perfectly round hole. This is my optic canal. I'm just going to pull the pipe cleaner through it. So you see how it disappears. There it is. That's my optic canal, this little round hole at the back of my eye. All right, then I've got my inferior orbital fissure. So that is going to be the big gash. Look in the back of the eye. I've got two fissures. This is my inferior orbital fissure on the bottom, and this is my superior orbital fissure on the top. And that's the big gash of bones. We can see it from the inside of the skull as well. And we can at least see the superior one. That's my superior orbital fissure. But in the eye itself, inferior orbital fissure, superior orbital fissure, optic canal. All right, then I've got my infraorbital foramen. So infra is just short for inferior. Orbital, of course, we're talking about the eye, and foramen means hole. So we're looking for a hole below the eye, and that's going to be this guy right here. And it's on each side. This is my infraorbital foramen. And then I've got my supraorbital notch. So supra is just short for superior. Orbital, again, is the eye. And you can see that little notch of bone right there where my thumb is. You can hear it. As my thumb grabs it, see the side a little one as well? That is my supraorbital notch. And then lastly, we have the zygomatic arch. So the zygomatic arch is just the arch of bone on each side. So this here is my zygomatic bone, of course. This is my zygomatic arch. Zygomatic arch, zygomatic bone, zygomatic arch on each side. And that is the front of the skull. Good luck.